YouTube video is brought to you by Retorto Family Books. Check out www Retorto Family Books where you can find books written by your host, Mark Retorto, including The Cabal, The Saga Begins, and Mark is the Vampire, as well as books written by his daughter, Christina Retorto, including Invisible Girl and A Little Bit Louder. Hey guys, welcome to the Rocking with Mark YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to be talking more about chord inversions, particularly on the piano, or in my case, the keyboard. And we're going to be going through some common chord progressions over the next few series. Um, and we'll go over what chord, uh, chord inversions are and how you can use them and why you should use them in um, chord progressions. In my opinion, um, other than learning um, a particular song, it's good to practice doing chord progressions. It helps you understand the flow of music better and you'll be able to learn songs faster if you can anticipate which chord will be coming next. And chord inversions, in general, make going from one chord to the other easier. All right, so when we come back, we'll go over to my keyboard over there and we'll go over some, how, some common uh, chord progressions. The first one in the series is gonna be going through the one, uh, four, five chord progression. In this case, the most popular one in most um, popular music, the GCD chords. And we'll go through that one. All right. Be there. See you in a second. All right, guys. In this chord progression, we're going to be going from G this to the four chord C and back to D. And I'll show you different ways of doing it. So if you're starting on G, you do a uh, first inversion with uh, D on top then G, then B, then you pick your hand up to C, E, G, root position, or go back again, I pick my thumb up, put it on C, and move my index finger to E, keep my third finger to head on G, I just leave it, so again, then to go to D, I put my thumb over, put my First finger on F, and my third or pinky, whatever, most likely be your third finger on A, and then back to the original sec, uh, first inversion of uh, G. I'll, I'll go into more details on my computer later to show you the different types of inversions. Now, if you wanted to go from C to G, in general, let's say you were going to start on a C chord for some reason, you go from C. Position C, move your thumb over to B, put your first finger on D, and leave your pinky on G. So it'll be this. You just leave your finger here, go right to here for G, then you go to D, you slide over, D, F, A, root, and then pick over to the G, I mean G chord, you just drop it. Drop this finger down to G and then slide this finger over to B. So from A, slide this pinky from A to B. Drop this finger on G, this one on D. So it'll be like this. And you go the other way, here we go again. it and we'll, and when we'll we come back we'll be going over specifically how you how you form a first aversion second aversion all right guys I'm going to show you again how to transition between these chords on a keyboard or piano 
just in case you didn't understand um, what I did in the video or the video wasn't that clear. All right, so these are your notes on a keyboard. C chord is C, E, G, in root position. G chord is G, B, D, in root position. And a D chord is D, F, A, in root position. Right. Now to go from a G chord to a C chord, I actually made a mistake in the first video. I think I said first inversion. It was actually second inversion. So make the notes on a G chord. You're going to start on um, the notes D, G, B. And when you go from G to C, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your finger, whatever finger you have on the G chord, you can leave it there. Then move your finger from the D note to the C note. In my case, it was my thumb. And then move my first finger, not my thumb, to the E note. And then the pinky that was on the B note is just in the air. This is not going to be used at all. So you're going to be going from D, G, B to the root chord C, E, G. Okay? And they go from C to D. You're not really using chord inversions. You're just going to move your fingers from C, E, G chord in root position to the D chord in a root position, which is D, F, A. And then move from the D chord to the D chord and go from D, A, F, A, which is the D chord, to D, G, D, G, B, which is the second version of the G chord. You can keep your finger, the thumb, mic, which is normally being used on the D note, and you move your fingers that are on the F note, excuse the typo, <laughs> from the F note to the G note. And then you're going to move your finger from the A note to the B note. And that's how that's gonna how you're gonna go from the D chord to the G chord. And then you go from G chord to C chord. It's gonna be the same thing that you did in the first slide. You're gonna start with D G B, keep your finger on the G, no matter what, move your finger that was on the D to the C, and then put your first finger on E, and then you'll be in root position and the finger that was on B is no longer being used. And that's how you go for uh, how you use chord inversions in the GCD G, chord, chord progressions. Okay, I'm going to make another video later on how you do chord inversions in general. Hopefully you like this video, give a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel.